So, hi everybody. Um, this is the first of uh, my Pilates videos for you. Um, it's the first time I've ever done this, so bear with me. I'm going to be learning as I go along. It feels very strange, but yeah, we'll get used to it. So the plan is, I'm going to be doing various Pilates classes. Um, today's class is going to be a generic, sort of basic, classic Pilates class. And I'm going to teach it as if I'm teaching my class. Uh, so really it's geared towards people who are already doing my classes. Um, all levels. Uh, I will be doing in more uh, basic Pilates and more advanced Pilates classes as well, so you'll have a lot to choose from. But right now, we're just going to get started and I'm going to teach a, a, a basic class. Alright, so, um, let's get started. So, first of all, uh, get yourself ready to go. You want to be standing on the floor, uh, preferably on a hard surface, but if you're on a carpet, so be it. But if you can, stand on the floor. Stand with your feet hip width apart and parallel. We're going to look at the standing posture first. So feet hip width apart and parallel. Soft knees, a little bend in the knees is important. It immediately takes the pressure off your lower back. So soft knees. Then pull up tall, bring your shoulders down the back. Nice head top up, chin off the chest. Okay, so now place your hands on your rib cage with your middle fingers touching because we're going to start to get our breathing going, the thoracic breathing that we do in Pilates. So big, wide breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth, but you're really trying to fill those lungs up wide to the side, so you almost feel the air tickling the side of your rib cage here. So middle fingers touching together there, hands on resting lightly there on the rib cage, and now start to take big, deep breaths in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Fill up your lungs. And as you inhale, your middle finger should separate. As the lungs fill up, and then the middle fingers come back together again as your lungs empty. And again, big wide breath in. And out. So this is the kind of breathing you want to be doing through your exercises. Make sure you breathe fully. Okay, now we're going to take that breathing on and we're going to start to think about the abdominals. Okay, so we're going to start to pull the abdominals in as well. So for this, uh, place your index fingers together and your thumbs together. Place the tips of your index fingers on your pubic bone, just about there. Thumbs just above the navel and just let, let your hands rest lightly and flat there over your abdominals. Okay, so your hands are there for the reason that when you start to pull in soon, when you start to pull your abdominals in, you're going to feel your abdominals pulling away from your hands. Um, so, we're going to start by just focusing on the pelvic floor. So the first three of these, you're just going to focus on squeezing in your pelvic floor. Alright, so inhale to prepare. And as you exhale, start pulling in your pelvic floor. Start pulling in tighter. You're pulling in and you're feeling them pull up as well. Squeeze and then inhale as you release. And as you exhale, squeeze that up, those pelvic floor muscles in tighter and tighter and tighter and then release. And as you exhale, squeeze those pelvic floor muscles in nice and tight with a little squeeze at the front, that little squeeze in your backside going and release. And one more time. And exhale, pull those pelvic floor muscles in tight. I think we've actually done it through there, but that's okay. And Okay, so that's the pelvic floor. Now we're going to start to think about the rest of the abdominals. So we're going to pull the navel in tight and flat to the spine as well. So when you're pulling your navel in flat, what you're thinking about is pulling all your abdominals in as flat as possible. So if you imagine you've got a little piece of string, a little piece of thread that goes from your navel and it's attached to your spine, every time you pull in, that little piece of thread it shortens as the navel gets pulled in flat to the spine, okay? So that's what we're going to do next. Starting with the pelvic floor, but then we're going to pull into flat. Okay, inhale to prepare. As you exhale, start pulling in your pelvic floor and then pull your navel in flat and tight to the spine. Hold it all in nice and tight and now release as you inhale. And as you exhale, start squeezing in your pelvic floor and then start pulling your navel in tight and flat to the spine. Everything gets sucked in tight and flat there in your hands and release as you inhale. And exhale. 
exhale, pull in pelvic floor to navel, navel to spine, hold it all in nice and tight. Release as you inhale. And one more time, exhale, pull in pelvic floor to navel, navel to spine. So you're zipped up and hollowed there. And then release. Just let your arms relax down by your sides. Okay, release the shoulders, shoulders down the back. Okay. So next we're going to do a few roll downs, a few more stretches before we go down to the mat. So the first is going to do, it's going to be a roll down. So you're going to bring your chin down to your chest and then you're going to come down one vertebra at a time. Okay, so uh, get yourself standing nicely. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, pull those abdominals in tight. Pelvic foot to navel, navel to spine. You're bringing your chin down to your chest and you're coming down one vertebra at a time. Just let your arms hang down in front of you, nice and relaxed. Your knees are still soft. And when your fingertips reach the floor or as far down as you're comfortable going, you pause there when you inhale. And now as you exhale, you pull those abdominals in tight. Pelvic foot to navel, navel to spine. The abdominals are pulled in, supporting your spine as it stacks one vertebra on top of the other until you're straight. Release your shoulders. Inhale, stretch your arms up to the ceiling. Turn your hands out. Exhale, pull the abdominals in as your arms come down to your sides. Inhale, bend your knees just a little. Let your arms float up to the parallel to the floor. And exhale, pull in tight to straighten up. And release the shoulders. And again, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull the abdominals in. Get them locked in nice and tight as your chin comes down to your chest. So your abdominals are pulled in, supporting your spine as it curves right the way over. The arms are just hanging down until you're down there. When you're down, release as you inhale. And exhale, pull those abdominals in nice and tight as you stack one vertebra on top of the other until you're straight down and release the shoulders. Inhale, stretch up. Turn your hands out. Exhale, pull in as your arms come down. Inhale, bend your knees, let your arms float up. Exhale, pull in to straighten up. And one last time. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, chin to chest, roll your way down slowly, one vertebra at a time, abdominals pulled in tight, of course, all the way down, release them there, inhale, exhale, zip up and hold up, pull those abdominals in nice and tight as you straighten up, and once you're straight, release, inhale, stretch up, turn your hands up, exhale, pull in as your arms come down, Inhale, bend, let your arms float up. Exhale, pull it to straighten up and release. Okay, now the next couple that we're going to do are slightly different, okay, similar, but this time instead of curling down, you're going to keep your back straight. Um, so for this one, you're going to push your bottom out and then you're going to fold from the hips, keeping your back really straight and not letting your chin come down to your chest, so keeping that gap under your chin. Um, you're going to come down like this. Now, if you're not sure what's going on, just have a look first and then join in as soon as you're ready. Okay, so standing up nice and tall, shoulders down and back, soft knees. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, pull your abdominals in as you push your bottom out there. Now, keeping your back really straight this time, fold from the hips and come down till your chest is parallel to the floor or as far down as you're comfortable with. Now, let your heart, arms just gently hang down under your shoulders, pause there. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your abdominals in tight as you straighten up, release your shoulders, inhale, stretch up, turn your hands up, exhale, pull in as your arms come down, inhale, bend the knees, let the arms float up, exhale, pull in to straighten up, release the shoulders, okay, again, inhale, exhale, pull the abdominals in, push the bottom out there, really push it back there, Come down, chest down. Now you feel a little stretch going up through the back of your legs, through your hamstrings. Let your hands relax down under the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the abdominals in as you come up. Release your shoulders, inhale, stretch up. Turn your hands up, exhale, pull in as your arms come down. Inhale, then let the arms float up. Exhale, pull in, and the last one, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in tight, push your bottom out there, bring your chest down, keep the chin up the chest, eyes down underneath you there, let the hands hang down under the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, pull in, pelvic foot to navel, navel to spine as you straighten back 
up. Once you're straight, release your shoulders and your abdominals too. Inhale, stretch up. Turn your hands out. Exhale, pull in as your arms come down. Inhale, bend, let the arms float up. And exhale, pull in to straighten up and release it all. Okay, so those are done. Now just a few more stretches before we go down to the mat. So just stand up tall, hands down the sides of your thighs there. So what we're going to do is we're going to be leaning over to the sides, okay, just to get the sides warmed up a little bit. So, um, ready? We're going to inhale as we go down, exhale, pull up. So ready, go. Inhale as you slide your right hand down the side of your leg towards your knee. Pause there, take a nice deep breath in first. And now exhale, pull your abdominals in as you straighten back up. Inhale as you lean over to the other side, the hand comes down. Exhale, pull in as you come up. Inhale as you slide down. Exhale, pull the abdominals in as you come up. Inhale as you slide down. And exhale, pull in as you come up. Now, bring one hand up above your head. Arm soft, elbows soft, palm facing forward. Now we're going to lean over, very similar to what we just did. So, ready? Go. Inhale, lean over. And exhale, pull in as you come up and the arm comes down, the other one comes up. Inhale, slide to the other side. Exhale, pull in and bring it down and swap over. Inhale, bend, stretch to the fingertips. Exhale, bring it up and change over. Inhale, slide, stretch to the end of the fingertips. And bring it up and bring your arm down and release. Okay, now. Just let it all go. Clasp your hands together in front of you now. Lift your hands up level with the shoulders, elbows wide, big circle there between your arms. Bring your chin down to your chest, all the way down as close as you can. And then just pull the arms forward just that little bit so you feel that stretch going right across your back, really. Right down the back of your neck in the area between the shoulder blades there. Elbows pulling out wide to the sides, big wide circle there. Lovely stretch. Okay, then bring your head back up. Bring your arms down, clasp your hands together behind you now, pull your hands down towards the floor, lift them out and away from your body, shoulders back and down, lengthen up your spine, up through your neck, there, up, and release. Now I've done a few, bit of an exercise for a few days, but I'm feeling a little stiff, but it's all starting to loosen up. Good, okay, now we're going to go down to the mat. So, stand at the end of your mats now, Hopefully you've got mats to, to, to work with. Uh, and anyway, okay, so stand with your feet, hip width apart, flat the mat, soft knees, straight back, shoulders back and down. Nice long neck. Okay, we're going to roll it down to the mat now. So inhale to prepare. As you exhale, pull in as your chin comes down to your chest and as you roll it down to the mat, the dogs pulled in all the way down. When your hands reach the mat, then you're ready just to go forwards a little bit on your mat, turn over. So now you're going to be sitting with your bottom up halfway down your mat. You want your feet hip width apart, flat on the mat. You want to sit up tall, so feet, knees and hips all line up. Feet just resting ever so lightly down the mat. If your um, toes come up off the mat while you're working, that's absolutely fine. Fine, so your feet can come up, but make sure your heels stay in contact with the mat at all times. Okay, then pull up tall. Uh, really stretch up your spine. Imagine a little piece of string in the middle of your head and it's pulling you up. And then though, very importantly, release those shoulders. You wanna let them drop down, no tension in the shoulders at all. Because as soon as you tense up with this, with, through the shoulders and back and neck and everything, you'll lose a lot of the exercise. So try, if you can, just to talk those shoulders and to stay out of it, staying relaxed all the way through. Now, you want your hands on the mat, palms facing the ceiling. If this is really uncomfortable for you and you're feeling a major strain going on in your lower back there, feel free just to bring your hands behind your thighs there. Don't pull on them, but just use them there to help support you up. Okay, so either hands on the back of your thighs or down, shoulders down, relaxed, nice long neck, don't make your chin come down. We're going to go into the lean back warm up here. So, ready, go. Inhale as you tilt your pelvis forward and lean back just a little. And exhale, use your abdominals, squeeze them in to come up. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and go back a little bit further. Exhale.
exhale, now squeeze it. Pelvic floor to navel, navel to spine to come up. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and go back a little bit further still. Exhale, squeeze it up. And inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and go back to your maximum point, which is where the lower back just touches down. And now exhale, squeeze the abdominals in to lift yourself up. Good. Then lean back on your hands. Stretch your legs out there. Give them a little shake up. And then leave them there. We're going to go into a little hamstring stretch here before we continue. So legs straight out there along the mat. Feet hip width apart. Make sure your the backs of your knees are pulled down into the mat a little bit. Sit up tall. Now take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, lower your chest down towards your thighs. Reach your hands forward now. Just get yourself comfortable. Breathe into it. And you're just wanting to release into that stretch. Now it might be here in this stretch that you just want to let your hands rest on your shins. Or you can hold on to your ankles, tops of the feet, soles of the feet, whatever works for you. As long as you're feeling that stretch, going up the back of your legs through your hamstrings there. Relax and breathe in. So it's really key when you're stretching to focus on your breathing, taking those big deep breaths in. And each exhale, you want to sort of sigh into it, release and sigh into it. And then another deep breath in. And each exhale, you're releasing into it. Inhale. And you soften into that. Exhale. Okay, now stay just the way you are. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can edge your fingertips forward just that little bit more. Maybe bring your chest down a touch closer to your thighs. If you're super flexible, you, you can start to bring your chest down closer and your face down closer to your knees. But just as long as you're getting that stretch, the back of your legs, it really doesn't matter where or what position you're in at this point. Okay, and release it. Now, bring your feet back into position on your mat, and um, we're going to go into those lean backs again. So we're going to do eight lean backs. Um, so here, as long as you are not allowing your shoulders to take over, and that you're really using your abdominals to pull yourself up, then you're, you're doing well. Okay, so sit up tall, release the shoulders, Head off, uh, chin off the chest, keep that cap under your chin. Imagine you've got an orange sort of tucked in under your chin there. That's got to stay there right the way through the exercise. Okay, release those shoulders, talk them into staying down. Ready, go. Inhale as you tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. And now exhale, squeeze to come up. Inhale as you tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. Exhale, pull those abdominals in tight. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. Exhale, squeeze to come up. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. Exhale, squeeze it up. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. Make sure it's those abdominals doing the work to pulling yourself up there. Inhale as you lean back. Exhale, pull it to come up to left. Inhale as you tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. Exhale, squeeze. Squeeze it up and one more. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. And exhale, squeeze it all the way up. And then back on your hands, stretch your legs up. Now, those of you who do my classes regularly, <laughs> you will know that counting is not my forte. So sometimes you'll find that I give you a little extra one. Sometimes I give you a little bit one less, but hey, but, you know, it's just the way it goes, folks. Okay, now, we're gonna go down to the mat. So bring your feet into position onto the mat. Sit up tall, take a big deep breath in. And now as you exhale, pull those abdominals in, tilt your pelvis forward, use your abdominals to bring your spine down carefully one more time, one time. Keep the shoulders soft and relaxed all the way down and the chin up the chest. Good, okay, once you're down there, pick your feet up, hands on your knees, and just start having a rock side to side over your back. Now, we do this a lot, and this is so good just easing away some of the tightness that builds up in those back muscles as we're working. So this first one we take a little bit longer over. So we're going to work our way up the spine a little bit. So bring your knees to the center now. Hands on your knees, to begin with anyway. 
Now, we want to start right at the base of the spine. Now, I can feel that my coccyx and my sacrum are slightly up off the mat right now, and I need them down. So to do that, I'm going to lower my feet down towards the mat just a little bit till I feel that come down flat to the mat. Okay, so now I can feel the base of my spine is down. I'm going to bring my arms down by my side because it feels like too much of a stretch to have my fingertips on my knees there. And I'm going to just start rocking side to side over these muscles here. So it's over the, the coccyx and those first few vertebrae above the coccyx that form the sacrum there. And we're just really pressing into the mat both sides. So really getting those glutes press down. So even though these muscles are strong and that part of the spine is generally very well supported by those muscles. Those muscles do a lot of work generally so they can get quite tight. Okay, now we're going to take it to the lumbar spine. So to do that, bring your knees a little bit closer to the chest, hands back on the knees. Make sure you place them back on there because it just keeps it a lot more controlled. And now you're just rocking over your lower back, over your lumbar spine, over the spine, pressing it down, both sides of the spine there right over the spine. Okay, now staying over the same area, this is one of my favorite ones here. So staying over the lower back, let your knees drop open, keep your feet together, and rock from one hip right the way over to the other hip, pressing down nice and flat into the mat as you go right the way over. Controlled, but nice and wide. Now you can have your knees as wide as you want feel more comfortable and a bit closer, just find what works for you. So yeah, lovely, over the lower back there. And yes, it's just, sometimes it's at this point that you realize just how tight those muscles are, or have been anyway. Okay, bring your knees back together again. Now, pull them in a lot closer to your chest, because now we're gonna rock over the thoracic spine there. So with your knees up closer, we can go from shoulder blade to shoulder blade here. Just little ones, control rocking side to side. Okay, now keep your knees folded in close to your chest and um, bring them to the center. Now three big circles clockwise and then three big circles anti-clockwise, starting and finishing each circle with the knees holding close to the chest, okay? So ready? Go. Start circling those knees all the way around once, bring them up close to the chest, and again all the way around again and up close to the chest, and one more time all the way up close to the chest, pause there, okay now three anti-clockwise, bring them all the way around and back up close, and again all the way around and back up close, and one more time, there it is, and then bring your feet down to your mat, stretch your legs out there, along your mat. Give your legs a little shake up. Get yourself centered and comfortable onto the mat, lying flat here on your back. And then when you feel comfortable, lift your arms up and over your head and just let your arms relax comfortably there on the floor on the mat there behind you. Okay, so we're going to have this little stretch here. Now it might be that you just decide that you're happy and comfortable lying here just the way you are right now, in which case just relax into it the way it is. If you want to work this stretch just that little bit more, be very careful. It's just a subtle little stretch. It takes very little and it should only feel good. So remember this as you do this, okay? Very subtle, little movement. Take a big deep breath in. And as you exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, press your lower back down into the mat. Okay, now keep your lower back pressed into the mat there as it is. It's held in there because the fact that your pelvis is tilted forwards enough that's allowing you to keep that lower back down and the glutes are also helping too. Okay, now again, you can stay this way or you can add in the arm and leg stretch ever so slightly. Okay, so if you're gonna do that, just start to pull up your arms. So imagine your wrists to just be pulled gently, ever so softly, up and away from the shoulders. And then the same thing is going down your legs, so your ankles are pulling down away from your hips. Now it's a gentle and lovely stretch. Keep it balanced, keep it even, right to left, arms to legs, and it should just feel good. If anything's feeling uncomfortable, just release until it feels good again. Okay, now release, and bring your arms back over to the front, 
and bring your feet onto the mat and either rock yourself up to sitting or push yourself up there. Good, okay. Now, um, we are going to go into some full roll downs, okay? So we are going to do six full roll downs. Um, now, I'm going to, just going to do a little introduction. I know most of you have done this before, but some of you who may be a lot nearer to this might need reminding of this, okay? So, for the full roll down, I'm just going to explain the various levels that you can do this at. So I'm going to show you a full one, then I'm going to break it down into sort of beginner, intermediate and advanced. Okay, so first I'm going to do a classic one first, which is an advanced one, and then I'll show you how to break it down. So it should look like this. You sit up tall, shoulders down and back, chin up the chest, take a big deep breath in, fill up your lungs. Now as you start to exhale, start pulling in, tilt your pelvis forward, now you're using your abdominals, you're squeezing your abdominals in tighter and tighter, you're still exhaling, you're keeping your chin off your chest as you come down, and when your head is down on the mat, you take a big deep breath in as your arms go over your head, and now as you exhale, you start bringing the arms over, then you, when they're over, you use your abdominals, you pull them tight, 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 to bring yourself all the way up, and there you are. So that's a full roll down. Now, most of you, we've been doing this, you'll know what you're doing. But if you're new, newer to this, or if you've got any back issues and you need to be, be extra careful when you're doing this exercise, what you can do is have your hands on the back of your thighs there, hold on, inhale, exhale, pull in. You use your hands on the back of your thighs just to help your spine down so you're not relying completely on your abdominals. You're giving yourself a little bit of help. When your head is down, inhale, the arms go over. And exhale, you bring your arms over, you dig your elbows into the mat, you give yourself a little bit of a helping hand, you cancel the back of your thighs, and you lift. You can also, on the way down, if you're struggling, just bring your elbows down onto the mat to help yourself down. Okay, so that's the, uh, the beginners one. Okay, now, the intermediate one, uh, the roll down is the same, okay, so it's just exactly the same. I'm not going to, I'm going to speed this up a little bit just so that I can explain. Inhale, the arms go over, and this is where you can make it a bit easier for yourself by bringing the arms over. Now the hands, arms are straight, and they stay level. Now, you don't pull on your arms, the arms and the shoulders stay soft, and you bring it up. So, uh, just make sure if you're doing this one, that you don't really pull on those arms to lift. The shoulders stay, the arms stay soft, the shoulders stay down, and you're really relying on your abdominals and not the weight of your arms and pull on the arms to lift you up. Okay, and then the uh, advanced one, you're going down as normal, inhale, the arms come over, and what makes it more advanced is, it's inhale over, and then as you exhale, you bring your hands down to the mat, and then you start lifting by using the abdominals all the way up. Okay, so you've got your, your, your three versions there of the exercise. All right, so let's do these six roll downs together. So yeah, feet resting lightly down the mat, as I said, if your toes come up, that's absolutely fine. Try not to, as you're doing it, let your legs stretch out. So try to hold this position with your legs there. Don't let them stretch. Try and just hold it there. You don't have to force your legs down, but if you're really using your abdominals properly, they won't need to stretch out. Okay, so sit up tall. Big deep breath in to prepare. As you exhale, Start to pull in, tilt your pelvis forward, keep those shoulders down and relaxed and you're pulling in tighter and tighter. It's always getting the lower back down to the mat, that's the hardest part of this exercise on the way down. When your head is down, inhale as your arms come over. And then as you exhale, bring the arms back over and squeeze to come all the way back up. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward, bring it all the way down, control it all the way down. When your head is down, inhale as your arms come over. And as you exhale, bring your arms over. Now this time I'm gonna bring them into the intermediate position there. Squeeze it back up and the arms come down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, blow the up. Inhale, the arms come over, 
And this time, I'm going to take it to the easier version, elbows into the mat, just to give you a reminder of how to do it there. Okay, three left. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward, bring it down. Inhale, the arms come over. Exhale, bring them over. Inhale. So we have figures of A. Let's get into all those back muscles. Okay. Right. Now bring your feet down to the mat and let them rest there. Now next we're going to do some leg circles. So we're going to do two versions of the leg circle today. We're not going to do very many of each, but we're going to, you can, you'll have choices as to whether you want to do all of them as the easier version or half and half, half. Um, the easier version and half the hard version, but you'll see, okay? So for the first, the basic leg circle, you're lying down on your mat, feet tip width apart, flat on the mat, arms down by your sides, palms facing down. Now, stretch your right leg out to that, that diagonal line. And why, what I mean by diagonal line is that it's not up here, it's not vertical, because as soon as I lift my leg up vertical, the base of my spine is lifted up off the mat, it needs to be down. So you want to feel the base of your spine is down. So the leg is out there nice and long and straight and you rotate up from the hips so the foot is turned out and a soft point in those toes on that straight leg. Okay, now we're going to do four circles on the one breath. The bigger the circle and the closer that foot comes to the mat, as part of the circle, the harder it will be. If you want to make it easier, you make your circle smaller. Now the focus when you're doing those circles is using your abdominals to keep your lower back pinned to the mat all the way through as that leg is sort of trying to make you rock and roll as that leg is pulling you out of shape. So everything gets sucked in nice and solid and it should be just the leg that's moving. Okay, so take a big deep breath in now and as you exhale, pull those abdominals in as you circle that leg around once, twice, three times and four and bring it up to that diagonal line. Release as you inhale, and exhale, pull in as you circle the opposite way. Four, three, two, one, and bring it up to that diagonal. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in as you circle. Four, three, two, one, and bring it up to that diagonal line. Inhale. And exhale, lock those abdominals in and use them to keep that lower back pinned to the mat. Two, three, four, and bring it down. Okay, now hug that right knee in really close to your chest. So if you're finding while you're doing this exercise that your lower back wants to lift up off the mat while you're doing that exercise, 
That's a clear sort of sign, it's an indication that you just need to make your circle smaller, okay, and higher up. Okay, so just stay tuned into how that's feeling. You want that lower back? Down on that throughout. Okay, now bring your right foot down, stretch your left leg out to that diagonal line, rotate out the hips, soft point to the toes, lower back down. Okay, feel that lower back press into that there. Okay, inhale to prepare. As you exhale, pull in as you circle. Four, three, two, one, and bring it up to that diagonal line. Inhale, exhale, circle, and I'm really getting those hip muscles working nicely. Two, three, four, and bring it up to that diagonal. Inhale, exhale, pull in as you circle. Four, three, two, one, and bring it out to that diagonal. Inhale, and exhale, circle the other way. Now make sure that that leg that's on the mat isn't sweating. Three, and four. Okay, bring it down. Now hug your left knee in really close to the chest to reach the hip flexors a little bit there. Okay, and then bring it down. Stretch your legs out in front of you, just give them a little shake just to release it all. And then bring your feet back into position. Now we're going to do leg circles. This time it's going to be a lot harder because we're going to do it from tabletop rather than feet one foot down. So with legs at tabletop, you haven't got that foot to anchor you down, so you're going to be a lot less stable. So your circles will probably have to be a little bit smaller to achieve the same kind of control that you have when that foot was down. Okay? So lift your legs into tabletop position now. So your knees are over your hips, your calves are parallel to the floor, have a little rock side to side here to make sure you feel that lower back down the mat. Now you may want to, in this position, place your fingertips under your bottom face down and that will cushion your lower back if you've got any issues with your back or you feel like it's not feeling, uh, you know, comfortable, then fingertips under there. Just always, you know, look after your back while you're doing it. Stay tuned into how it's doing. Or you can have your arms down by your sides, or if you prefer, you can lift up into the advanced position. So in the advanced position, you lift up, fingertips by the head, you just let your head rest against your hands. Just resting against it. You're not pulling, you're just letting it rest against the hands and the elbows are up wide. Now, stretch the right leg out there again, rotate up from the hip, same thing. Bigger the circle, the harder it is. Keep it small or big. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in as you circle around. One, two, three, and four. And bring it up to that diagonal line. Inhale. And exhale, pull in hard as you circle the other way. Four, three, two, one. And bring it up to that diagonal line. Inhale. Exhale, pull in as you circle. Four. Three, two, one, bring it out to that diagonal, inhale, and exhale, pull in tight as you circle the leg, four, three, two, one, and bring your head down, hug both knees in tight to the chest, and then bring your lower back down that, have a little quick rock side to side, and then get ready to do the left leg. Okay, so next back to tabletop. Hands into whichever position you decide you're going to work with. And then get yourself ready again. Stretch the left leg out there. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in as you circle around. Four, three, two, one. Bring it out to the diagonal. Inhale. Exhale, circle the other way. Four, three, two, one, and bring it out to that diagonal. Inhale, exhale, circle around. Now I'm finding that with my left, I have to make my circles a bit smaller because of an old injury on in my back there. I can't do them quite as big on this side. Inhale, and exhale, pull in as you circle for four, three, two, and the last one. Yes, and bring your head down. Hug your knees in. Have a rock side to side. Okay, our leg circles are done. Bring your feet down, stretch your legs out, give them a shake up, release it all. Get yourself centered and comfortable on your back. Bring your arms over your head. And relax there. And again, just relax as you are. Or inhale. As you exhale into your pelvis, press your lower back into the mat and then just breathe into it. 
as you extend out the arms, down the legs just that little bit. Make sure you don't carry the stretch into your fingers and your toes. The stretch finishes at the wrists and the ankles. And it should just feel lovely, which it is for me right now. Okay, and then release. Bring your arms back over to the front. And bring your feet onto the mat. Now, before we go into shoulder bridge, which is coming next, we're going to squeeze in here a, a, a one leg stretch. So for the one leg stretch, um, whichever way you do it, I'm going to give you two options, the easier or the harder option. For, um, for the easier, but whichever option you're, you're going to choose, you're going to have to start with your legs at tabletop. So bring your legs into tabletop, quick rock side to side, lower back down the mat. Now, if you want to keep your head down on the mat to keep it easier, you bring your hands to the back of that left thigh, and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be pulling the left knee in really close to the chest, as tight into the chest as you can, and at the same time you are stretching right down that straight leg to your toes. So you're pulling in and stretching, it's pull in and stretch, really exaggerate as you do it. Now that's the basic position. Now if you want to make it a little bit harder and the abdominals have to work a bit in this too, then you do it from this position where you're going to lift your head, neck and shoulders up off the mat. Your left hands to the outside of the left knee, right hands through the middle. Now make sure your head's not back here because you'll strain your neck. So you want to bring your head right up so you can straight in between your legs there. Okay, now left hand on the outside of the left knee, right hand reaching through the middle ready to grab that left heel. Inhale to prepare and as you exhale you pull in and you stretch. Inhale, swap over. Exhale, pull in and stretch. Inhale, swap over. Exhale, inhale, swap. Inhale, swap. Inhale, swap. Inhale, swap. Inhale, swap. Inhale, swap. Pull in and stretch. Oh, that feels good. Pull in and stretch. Pull in and stretch. Inhale, swap. Pull in and stretch. And bring it down. Another little rock side to side. Okay, now we're going to go into shoulder bridge. So bring your feet down to the mat. Feet tip width apart, flatten the mat. Get yourself really comfortable. Arms down by your sides. Palms facing down. Feet hip width apart and parallel up there. So make sure here that your feet aren't too far forwards along the mat. So you feel that sort of awkward stretch going up the front of your leg, the foot there, or too squashed in against your bottom. So in between those two extremes. Okay, so feet hip with the park, flat the mat, arms down by your sides. Now we're going to start with the warm-up. Okay, so little movement to begin with. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, pull your abdominals in, tilt your pelvis forward and up, and lift your hips and bottom up off the mat just a little bit, lifting just a little bit, just a few vertebrae lifting. Okay, now breathing normally. Ah, just focus on each vertebra coming down to the mat, one after the other, until your bottom is down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull your abdominals in, tilt your pelvis forward first, and lift up a little bit higher. And now, again, just focus on every vertebra pressing down into the mat, one after the other, coming down your spine until your bottom is down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in. Now tilt that pelvis forward and then you will feel those glutes and hamstrings lifting you up there a little bit higher still so you're almost at your full stretch. Not quite there. Okay, now take it down again. Breathing normally, just focus on every vertebra coming down, each vertebra getting a little massage as it presses down to the mat steadily. Don't rush it, it feels too good to rush all the way down. And now up to the full stretch. Inhale to prepare, exhale, pull the abdominals in, tilt the pelvis forward, now start lifting your spine off the mat, one vertebra up to the other until you've reached that full stretch where you should be in a straight line from your knees down to your shoulders. You can feel those glutes and hamstrings holding you up. Now make sure you're not pushing into your legs. Your legs are relaxed. You should feel no strain on your neck and your shoulders. If you do, it's because you're pushing into the legs. So your shoulders, neck, and head should feel comfortable, but you're feeling it in the hamstrings and glutes. Okay, now 
Bring it down, take your time, come down, try and stay centered over your spine. So you're making those tiny little adjustments, right to left leg, just to stay very centered over your spine so that every vertebra presses down evenly into the mat all the way down. And then when you're down, stretch your legs out and give them a shake. Now, it's really common for people, to, hamstrings to cramp up in shoulder bridge. So if it does, if it happens, just do this. Come down, shake them out, and then we'll stretch them out properly later. So bring your feet onto the mat again. Okay, now we're gonna go into classic shoulder bridge now. So we're going to do six classic Shoulder bridge. Okay, so here we go. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt the pelvis forward and start lifting your spine off the mat. Keep lifting up until you've reached that full stretch. Now take a big deep breath in as your arms go over your head behind you. Leave them there. Now as you exhale, pull your abdominals in nice and tight as you feel your way back down, coming down one vertebra after the other until your bottom is down when it is. Inhale as the arms come over to the front. A little pause, inhale, exhale, pull in, tilt the pelvis forward, start lifting up until you reach that full stretch. When you've reached it, big deep breath in as your arms go over your head behind you, leave them there. Exhale, pull in your abdominals as you come down. Try and keep your fingertips in the same place. Try not to let them slide forwards as your back comes down because you get a much nicer stretch in the spine. Inhale as your arms come over to the front. Inhale to prepare, exhale, pull in, tilt that pelvis forward first and then start lifting your spine off the mat, lifting one vertebra at a time until you're on your shoulder blades at the full stretch. A big deep breath in as your arms go over. Exhale, pull the abdominals in nice and tight and flat as you work your way back down, slowly, steadily until you are down when you're down. Inhale as the arms come over, two left. Inhale, exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward, start lifting up one at a time until you have reached that full stretch. A big deep breath in as your arms go over your head. Exhale, pull in as you work your way back down. Inhale, as your arms come over, and the last one, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward, bring it all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, pull in on your way down. Inhale. Arms come over to the front. Okay, stretch your legs out. Give them a little shake. Now we're just going to leave the shoulder bridge series there today. There's so many exercises, but we'll do lots of more in the weeks coming up. But we'll leave that there. Bring your feet onto the mat, hug your knees in, and have a good old rock side to side. I'd say probably with your knees apart, feet together, so that you can get right over to the sides. There. How are we doing? Okay. So, let's stretch out the glutes and hamstrings a little bit before we move into the last exercises. Now, bring your feet down. Okay, so feet flat on the mat. Stretch your right leg straight up to the ceiling. Now, hold on to the back of that right thigh to begin with anyway, okay? Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, pull that leg in towards your chest. If then you wanna reach up and hold onto your calf, feel free to move your hands there. Now, you can have that knee soft. In fact, it, it, you can bend it. It doesn't matter. As long as it's, you know, don't, any really tight behind the knee there, bend your knee. But if you do bend your knee, it means you're going to have to bring that leg in a little bit closer. So yeah, you're pulling that leg in towards your chest. At the same time, you're pressing your bottom down towards the mat to lock the stretch in place. And then just breathing into that stretch. Now take another deep breath in. As you exhale, see if you can pull that leg in just that little bit closer. And still pressing your bottom down towards the mat there. Okay, release the stretch. 
but keep your leg up there. Clasp your hands together behind that right thigh and just allow the base of your spine to come down onto the mat. So your hands are holding your leg up there, your leg is straight, arms relaxed down. Now, I'm just going to circle the foot round, okay? So it's not the leg moving, it's just the, the, the foot. So you're going to draw circles with your big toe. So we're going to circle round, okay? So circle that foot round once, twice, three times, and four, and now circle the other way. Four, three, two, one, and now place the left foot across your right knee. Now, if you've got issues with your hips and you need to keep it gentle, you take your right hand on the inside of the right knee there and you just push your knee out wide towards the wall in front of you. If you want to take it that little bit harder, then lift your left foot up off the mat, reach through between your legs along the back of your left thigh, and then adjust it. So it might be that this feels too intense for you like this. If it does, loosen the grip on the back of your thighs so there's a big old gap between your fingertips there. That allows the left foot to get close to the mat and will make it feel easier. If you need it to be more intense, then you pull your left knee in closer to your chest. You can even press your right elbow into your right leg there and that will increase that good stretch, the hip stretch there. And then just release into it. It's always quite an intense one, this one. It's only a little bit sore, as that works. Sore is okay, painful is not. Okay, so it's a good feeling. As those muscles are release, I can feel it happening. Okay, and now bring your feet down. Right foot down, stretch your left leg up, hold on to the back of that left thigh, inhale. As you exhale, pull it in. You can hold that leg there, or you can lift your hands up. Exhale, pull that leg in a little bit closer, bottom pressing down towards the mat. So breathe into it, release into your exhales. Okay, and release it, clasp your hands together behind your left thigh, lower back down on the mat, leg resting against your hands. And then circle that left foot round. One, two, big old circles. Three and four. And circle the other way. Four, three, two, one. And then place your left foot across your right knee. Either press your left knee away or lift your right foot up. Reach through, hold on to the back of that right thigh. Adjust the stretch. And then release into it. So try and let your legs go, I mean not let go, but relax them. Don't let your legs tense up. Your hands are holding you in the stretch, so the legs don't have to be tense at all. And that way you can really focus on those glutes in your muscles as this works. Good, okay, and then bring your feet down to the mat, rock yourself up to sitting, and then Turn over into the box position on your mat, hands under your shoulders, knees under hips, flat back. Now, sit back on your heels, bring your head down to the mat and stretch your arms out there in front of you. Walk your fingertips forward. Get that lovely stretch working. Now, if you can't sit back on your heels, then you can stay up on your knees, head down, stretch the arms out. But if you can sit right back on your heels, Go for it. You can let the knees come up that little bit wider if you need to. Have a couple deep breaths here. Okay, now come down onto your front. Okay, so we're going to do some chest raises. We're going to focus on the back muscles for the last part of the class today. So, for the first one, lie flat on your front there, just get yourself comfortable and centered. Then, bring your arms around to the sides of your thighs there. Pull your hands down towards your feet, so you're stretching your arms down your sides there. Your nose should be just off the mat, and your neck is straight. Now, keep your face looking down as you do this next exercise. We're going to be doing some chest raises, okay? So, you're going to use your back muscles to lift your chest up. Don't initiate with the shoulders. Keep the shoulders soft and relaxed. That, they're not doing anything. They're staying soft. You're just gonna 
You use your back muscles, you'll feel it in your glutes too as you lift your chest up. Okay, so here we go. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift your chest up and hold. Inhale as you come back down. Exhale, lift and hold. Inhale as you come down, six left. Exhale as you lift and hold. Inhale as you come down. Exhale as you lift and hold. Inhale as you come down, four left. Four lift and hold. Inhale as you come down. Exhale, three lift and hold. Inhale as you come down. Exhale, two lift and hold. Inhale as you come down. And one more. Exhale, lift and hold. And bring it down. And then just rest your head on your hands in front of you. And release. All right, so now we're going to go into the diagonal stretch. This also works your back muscles. It's really good balancing out the back nicely, this next one. So we're going to go into the diagonal stretch where you bring your arms up above your head, palms facing each other, shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart there behind you, nose just off the mat, face looking down. Again, you want to keep that neck straight and line with your spine as you're working. So for this one, you're going to be lifting your right arm and left leg up off the mat. And once they're up off the mat, just enough for your arm and your thigh to clear the mat, the hip is down, you're going to stretch up that arm and down that opposite leg evenly. Okay, so here goes. Inhale. Exhale, lift your right arm and left leg up and stretch that little pull on the arm, that little pull on the leg. Inhale as you come down. Exhale, lift your left arm, right leg up and stretch. Inhale as they come down. Exhale, right arm, left leg, lengthen. Inhale as you come down. Exhale, left arm, right leg, stretch. Imagine someone pulling on your wrist, someone else pulling on your ankle. Inhale as you come down. Exhale, right arm, left leg, stretch. Inhale as you come down. Exhale, left arm, right leg, stretch. Inhale, bring them down. Exhale, right arm, left leg, stretch. Inhale, bring them down. Exhale, left arm, right leg, stretch. Bring them down. Now come up into the box position and once again sit back into child's pose of prayer. So you can sit back, head down, you can keep stretch those arms up, which is definitely the nicer stretch for this. But if you have any issues with your shoulders, you might want to bring your hands back next to your feet. You can stay up on your knees. Okay, so we are going to finish with some cat stretches now. So come up into the box position, feet up with the pop. No, sorry. <laughs> Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Flat back to start with. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, tilt your pelvis forward and up. Bring your chin down to your chest and push your shoulders and spine up to the ceiling. Make as tall and arch as you can. Inhale, bring your back flat. You can stay that way if you want, or you can take it up into the cow where your head and bottom come up as well. Exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, chin to chest, arch up tall. Inhale as you come flat, or continue it on up. And one more time. Exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, chin to chest, arch up tall. Inhale, bring it flat, or continue it on up. And then straighten your back. Okay, everybody, see you soon. Um, new, another one coming very soon. Bye, folks.